Good evening. My name is Greg Pottiger, and I'm an assistant principal here at Central York High School. As we continue to navigate through these difficult and unprecedented times, it is more important now than ever before to recognize the great accomplishments and achievements of our students. Author Christian Larson once wrote, believe in yourself and all that you are. Know that there's something inside of you that is greater than any obstacle. So on behalf of the faculty, staff, administration, and school board, it gives me great honor and distinct pleasure to welcome you to the 2020 and 32nd Annual Academic Award Celebration. The students being recognized this evening have dedicated and distinguished themselves as model students here at Central York High School. At this time, and on behalf of the school board, I would like to welcome and introduce School Board Vice President, Mrs. Veronica Gemma. Hello, my name is Veronica Gemma, and I am the Vice President of the Central York School District Board of School Directors. I would like to welcome all students, their families, staff, and faculty. I am honored to join you all virtually today to extend greetings and a sincere heartfelt congratulations to you all on behalf of the School Board. Today we have the opportunity and privilege to recognize our students for their commitment to achieving excellence in their academic pursuits. The students we honor this May have achieved great success during unexpected and challenging circumstances. This is a very proud celebration of you, your hard work and dedication, especially in this time of adversity. The circumstances of today could very well have discouraged you or brought you down, but you stayed the course and you reached your goals. We know that character is forged in adversity. We cannot control the hand that is dealt us, but we can accept or deny the obstacles that have come across our paths. As the famous football coach Lou Holtz has said, life is 10% of what happens to you and 90% of how you respond to it. Well, you all have certainly worked very hard with both academic and mental strength, we must also remember and thank your teachers, coaches, parents, and staff for all of their support. As we know, it is due to their unwavering commitment to you and your goals that helped and supported you every step of the way. As Newt Gingrich once said, perseverance is the hard work you do after the hard work you've already done which you all proved to be true through your successful step across the finish line. You persevered. Students, I would also like to congratulate you today, not only for your academic success, but for your steadfast commitment to your future and your accomplishments, which are a testament to your fortitude and your will to achieve despite the challenges you faced. Seniors, please know we are immensely proud of you for all you have accomplished during this time as Central York students. We know that this is not the final academic award ceremony you had envisioned, but it does not diminish all you have achieved or will achieve in your future endeavors. We are proud of your strength and your continued hard work during this time and throughout your years as a Central York student. It will not be the last time you face adversity in your life journey, but always know that everything happens for a reason and that God has a perfect plan and purpose for your life. It is my hope that you will continue to always look for ways to grow and progress as lifelong learners and as individuals throughout your educational journey. Again, congratulations Enjoy your awards and best wishes to you all. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Gemma. Our first set of awards this evening will honor students who demonstrate the outstanding qualities of character, service, and leadership here at Central York High School. What does the quality of character look like in the classroom? It is the student who is honest, reliable, loyal, respects others, uses self-control, is self-disciplined, listens to others, helps those in need, and respects authority. What does the quality of service look like in the classroom? This is the student who helps others without being asked, gives of self in a volunteer capacity without compensation, carries out tasks of the good of the class or the community with no expectation for personal gain, 
and goes the extra or unexpected distance in assisting the teacher or fellow students. What does the quality of leadership look like in the classroom? It is a student who exerts positive influence on others, is motivating and inspiring, helps others realize their full potential, leads by example, is selfless, sees the greater good, and knows that the lead is to serve. At this time, we will begin the Character Service and Leadership Awards. We will be presenting these awards by grade level starting with grade nine. Presenting the Character Service and Leadership Awards this evening will be Mr. Jeffrey Hum. Ninth grade Character Service and Leadership Award. Character, Haley Merritt. Service, Thomas Wabber. Leadership, Joseph Bevavino. 10th grade Character, Service, and Leadership Award. Character, Skyler Mumford. Service, Jonathan Seiler. Leadership, Ida Gupta. 11th grade Character, Service, and Leadership Award. Character, Lake Hinderer. Service, Kennedy Glassmeyer. Leadership, Emma Olney. 12th grade, Character, Service, and Leadership Award. Character, Anna Yankanich. Service, L. Mummert. Leadership, Brock Anderson. It is now time to honor and recognize the outstanding junior and senior students within subject areas. We'll begin this evening with the art department. Presenting these awards on behalf of all departments is Mr. Jeffrey Hum. Subject Area Excellence Awards. Art Department, Sienna Hammond, Madeline Kimball. Business Department, Zachary Santorelli, Hannah Swalen. Computer Science, Matthew Giddy, Adam Rolot. Family and Consumer Science, Emily Pringle, Sarah Cabry. Health, Physical Education and Driver's Education, Morgan Wood. Braden Vaught, JROTC, Zachary Eisenhart, Desiree George, Language Arts, Emma Crumling, Joshua Tyson, Mathematics Department, Sarah Berman, Dennis Shepard, Music Department, Holly Hinchcliffe, Madison Horner, Science Department, Emma Olney, Daniela Feistritzer, Social Studies, Katherine Kelly, Cody Beck, Technology Department, Owen Wampler, Adam Rolot, World Languages, Chinese, Katherine Bennett, French, Bethany Sauter, Charlotte Long, German, Katherine Bollinger, Alexander Landis. Japanese, Kaylin Kitai. Latin, Sarah Zipinski. Wyatt Thomas. Spanish, Sofia Portillo. Isabella Sweeney. Next, we will be recognizing the National Merit Letter of Commendation winners. Recognizing these individuals will be Mr. Jeffrey Hahn. 2020 National Merit Scholarship Letter of Commendation, Daniela Feistritzer, Ambule Johnson, Hannah Kibler. We have created and will now be presenting two brand new awards this year. The first of these two awards is a Making a Difference Award. This award was created and developed because of all the great things our students do, not only in the classroom, but in the community as well. This year's recipient has worked dedicated and volunteered numerous hours to Central York's Youth Activism Committee, Special Olympics, Unified Track Program, Holy Trinity School, volunteer basketball coach, and serves her community as an emergency management technician. The recipient of this year's Making a Difference Award goes to Allison Boyd. The second of these two awards is a turnaround award. This award was created to celebrate a student who has shown tremendous growth and perseverance despite having to overcome many obstacles throughout their high school journey. This year's recipient 
moved from Maryland to Central York early on in their high school career. When arriving to Central York, although respectful and well-behaved, this individual lacked motivation and did not complete assignments on a regular basis. Since then, this individual has changed his work habits, became a successful member of our football program, positive member in our community, and worked tremendously hard in all of his classes to earn honor roll status. This year's recipient of the Turnaround Award goes to Brendan Harris. Our final awards this evening will recognize the top 5% of each class for their outstanding achievement. These awards will be presented in alphabetical order and are not being presented by class rank. We will announce and present these awards by grade, starting with grade nine. Please welcome back to present these awards, Mr. Jeffrey Hahn. Top 5% of the class of 2023, Caitlin Bookemeyer, Isabella Chimianti, Emily Crothamel, Dalton Dashu, Kara Hazelton, Kaylee Heininger, Ella Hobbs, Joshua Ilko, Veronica Langer, James Liu, Haley Mack, Jenna McNamara, Connor Ream, Hitanshi Shah, Lauren Summer, Sierra Taylor, Kia Toms, Stella Wolf, Mackenzie Wright, Eric Yan, Curtis Zhang, Olivia Zortman, top 5% of the class of 2022, Jaden Burnside, Brianna Fan, Sarah Gao, Ainsley Gerhardt, Ida Gupta, Naomi Hagen, Caitlin Jacobs, Elijah Liu, Haley Mayer, Carissa Martinez, Dylan Matthew, Allison Minnick, Skylar Mumford, Caitlin Naylor, T. Nguyen, Lindsay Richardson, Vienna Schneska, Caitlin Seidel, Owen Strickler, Caitlin Thorne, Kayla Weimer, Braden Wisner, Peyton Zimmer. Top 5% of the class of 2021, Sarah Berman, Catherine Bollinger, Ryan Bowman, Anna Birch, Matthew Giddy, Benjamin Hagen, Holly Hinchcliffe, Emma Keller, Catherine Kelly, Patrick Kelly, Nathaniel Linder, Juliana Mariano, Nicholas Mills, Emma Olney, Sophia Portillo, Pritao Prabhu, Christopher Sakel, Bethany Souter, Alexis Sothevon, Grace Wills. Top 5% of the class of 2020, Brandon Baxter, Cody Beck, Catherine Bennett, Jack Birch, V. Dow, Daniela Feistritzer, Braden Finch, David Free, Ella Gerhardt, Drew Hirschner, Victoria Wynn, Gemma Kelly, Madison Curlin, Alexander Landis, Abigail Light, Charlotte Long, Maggie Miller, Suzanne Rebin, Adam Rolot, Hannah Swalen, Courtney Thornton, Anna Yankanich. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Superintendent of Central York School District, Dr. Michael Snell. Good evening. My name is Michael Snell, and I am proud to serve as Superintendent of Central York School District. 
On behalf of the Central York School District, allow me to express my sincere gratitude to all who have helped our outstanding learners achieve the accomplishments we are celebrating today. I want to especially thank our parents and guardians, faculty and staff, and all those who have supported our learners throughout the past few unprecedented months of this school year. Thank you for taking the time to ensure they continue to learn and achieve despite unique circumstances that were surely at times trying for all. Students, I applaud your achievements and your contributions to our school and community. Please know that we are extremely proud of all that you have accomplished. We know the school year was exceptional, but so are you. Your continued commitment to excellence is commendable, and I am proud to recognize your efforts today. I encourage you to keep in mind this quote by author Seth Godin. Intellectual integrity goes beyond being clever. It requires you to put your ideas into the world. Work hard to fulfill your hopes and dreams. Be mindful of the positive impact that sharing your hard work, innovation, and ideas can have on the world around you. Continue to be exceptional and to strive for your goals, no matter what obstacles the world places before you. Finally, I thank you for making today a great day to be a Panther for all of us at Central York High School. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Snell. Next, I would like to welcome and introduce Mr. Ryan Kaufman, principal of Central York High School, for a few closing remarks. Thank you, Dr. Snell, for your remarks. Good evening. I'm Ryan Kaufman, principal here at Central York High School. Each school year, May brings the culmination of another school year, and for our seniors, the culmination of their public school careers. It is an amazing time of year to celebrate all the achievements that our learners have worked so hard to earn. I realize how difficult the end of this school year has been, and I truly miss not having the opportunity to celebrate in person. This virtual ceremony, though, does not change how proud I am, and all the staff at Central is, of your hard work and dedication to your studies. So I am honored to celebrate with you this evening, and I congratulate you on your successes. Your hard work and dedication to your academics, clubs, organizations, music and performance groups, and athletics has made and will continue to make Central a great institution for learning. On behalf of the high school administration and staff, we are so very proud of your accomplishments, and I challenge you to not see this as the pinnacle of your hard work, but to set the next goal for yourself that will help you reach your preferred future. And based on the achievements we have seen tonight, I know you can reach those goals. In closing, I challenge the underclassmen to work hard and strive to be right back here with us again next year for this celebration. And on behalf of everyone at the high school, I wish our seniors all the luck and happiness in your future endeavors. I'd like to thank Dr. Snell and Mrs. Gemma for speaking at tonight's virtual ceremony. I'd like to thank Dr. Pottinger and Mrs. Hinchcliffe for their work in preparing all the awards that we will ensure get out to all the recipients. I'd like to thank Mr. Alex Strickler for his hard work to put together this virtual ceremony. And finally, I'd like to thank the students and their families for your dedication to your academics and the Central York School District. This concludes our ceremony for this evening. I hope you all stay healthy. I can't wait to celebrate with our seniors and see our underclassmen back in the halls of Central next year. Thank you all and have a great evening.